All right, today, guys, I want to make a real quick video showing how to fix the uh, desync issue with Valheim servers. Now, there's a problem on user side and server side where it's getting bottlenecked. Now, you think you have a world and you have all these things built and such, and it's being trying to be crammed through. I think it's like uh, 64 kilobytes per second coming from the server and from user side. So you can modify that here and uh, i'm going to show you how you're going to want to get this dn spy here uh, i'll leave a link to this down in the description you're just going to want to click this link here and download it i uh, saved it down i extracted it to my desktop so i have the files right here and i'm going to do it for user side first so like on your pc that you're playing from to join the server and then i'll do it server side so you're going to want to open this up to the, the dn spy now, the easiest way to find the file to configure is go through Steam, right click on Valheim, go to Properties, Local Files, and Browse. And I can close out of that, head over to that file, and I'll copy this uh, location. Copy, close out of that, and click File, and I'm going to click Open and right click in here hit paste that take you to your valheim folder i'm going to go to valheim data valheim managed and then assembly underscore valheim click open now what i do is you're going to want to click view no uh, yeah where was it search assemblies that's it yeah, you open up search assemblies and then you search m underscore d a t a per sec d e r s e c and give it a second how that capitalized shouldn't be all right i just wanted to cover this real quick i want to throw this in here just to make sure in case you are running the dedicated server on the same machine you're playing on when you're in here and you've pulled up uh, the Valheim assembly uh, file .dll, you make sure when you're searching up for the m underscore data per sec that this directory as you can see when I hover over it there's a directory there matches the same one that you pulled up say for this this is my user one it's in my steam apps and it's not the dedicated server uh, but when you're doing the dedicated server one, make sure that you check and make sure it isn't the dedicated server one that you're selecting down here. It may show multiple of these. I want to skip it a few. And as you can see, it's right here. Double click on that. And here it is. Now, what I seen on that Reddit post was you're supposed to use this right here. To change this number here. So what you're going to want to do is right click on this line and hit edit class. I'll bring it up. And this is the number that I see on Reddit to put in here. So, and I used it and it worked good for me. So I'll leave these numbers down in the description below. So you can just copy and paste them in real quick. And then you just hit compile. And you can close out, hit yes, and okay. And then once that's done, I'm gonna head over to my server here. We're gonna do the same on there. I already have a DN spy downloaded here. I would extract it into this folder here, so I'll open that up. And then you're going to want to click File, Open. It's literally the same location, and your Valheim server data, and Managed, and then Assembly Valheim. Open. Do the same thing. Uh, search Assemblies. And then you type in that m underscore data per sec. Let it search and find it. Sometimes it takes a little bit. And there it is. So you double click on that. And this is what I have changed it to. Remember, you just have to right click on it. Uh, edit class. And then put in this number you see here and compile and that's the same uh, number I found from that guy on reddit like I said I'll leave a link to his post down below and uh, hopefully this helps you out and hopefully it'll fix the uh, desync issue and when I'm saying desync I don't know if you know 
exactly what that means, but it's an issue where when you're running around and you're like trying to chop down trees and it's not like picking up the items or displaying the items that dropped after you chopped down a tree or say your forages are running and there's coal all over the ground and you run through, you don't pick up any of it. Uh, this fixes that issue and hopefully it helped you out. And uh, if this video did help you out, liking and subscribing would be much appreciated and hopefully I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.